Hello guys and welcome back. So in the last section, last few sections, we have already seen things like adding multiple form controls to your form, adding form validations, form field validations, and then also adding things like uh, radio buttons, select lists, and uh, check boxes to your form. And then also submitting the form or disabling the submit button on the form when the form is invalid and also showing uh, custom validation errors or sorry uh, the pre-built or built-in uh, validation in angular now in this section we are going to talk about something called the ng model group and that can be used for essentially grouping out the fields inside our form so if we have a look at this object that we are uh, considering for uh, as the value of this form, we can see that in the address section we have fields like street, suite, city, zip code, and geo, which internally is again an object like lat and long. And then for that is the same thing for company as well. So for fields like these, we or for a value of this form or uh, that somehow matches this format we'll need to use the ng model group as well okay so that is something that we will be using inside this video so i'm just going to go to the template now and uh, in here let's start with below this form uh, group and i'll simply add a div here and inside this div we will have multiple form groups okay so the the attribute or the directive that i'm going to use here is going to be the ng model group and the value or the name of this form group is going to be say address like so and inside this i'll be having multiple form controls so i'll create a div with a class of form hyphen group inside which i need a label with a property of for with a value of let's say street for now and besides that, I need an input with a class of uh, form control. And I also need a field or a, an attribute named name inside that with some value. And I need this particular sections for, let's say, about one two three four and five six seven about seven times or so so i'll multiply this by seven now we have these seven fields but we need these three not for this one but for one another such div that i'm going to use so ng model group like so and the name is going to be company and inside that I'm going to use this div like so these divs like so let's just also do the indentation here as we did before so I'll uh, select all these by using by marking one of them and then uh, pressing ctrl D to select all of them like so so we uh, indented all of them now let's add things like uh, ng model in all of them so ng model that's added now let's start with this one so we have street suite city and zip code so street the name is going to be street and this would again be street 
then we have sweet then we have city and zip code in the name as well like so and in case of a company we have things like name catchphrase and ps so this one would be name name and name then we have catchphrase and for this one as well catchphrase and then for this we have bs i don't really know what that stands for okay all right and then again inside uh, this form group we will have some thing called uh, another form group so another div here with these ng model group and a name of um, geo inside which we will again have two fields for latitudes and longitudes like so so i'll just uh, change this from so we have lat and lng this is going to be for lat 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 and this one is going to be for LNG. Name is going to be LNG. Let's save this. Go back to the application that we have here. And now, if you see, uh, we don't really see anything here, nor do we see anything here. And for the company, it seems it didn't really create an object itself. Um, which looks a bit strange to me because we already have the ng model group name as well in here so for this one it created an object and after that it did not create any object for the name catchphrase and bs for this one so let's see what exactly is uh, wrong with this let's first change this name from bs to small bs so that we are consistent and now i got the issue what the issue was so for the ng model group we don't really assign a name we just assign a name to the ng model group itself like so okay uh, so that is something that i'll do the same for this one and for this address right here and now if we save this we should have an address with these objects and then inside that a geo with these objects as well as a catch or, or a company with this object right here so now the value of this form looks somewhat similar to the structure that we have in that we have coming in from the json placeholder api and that is something uh, that we can eventually pass the data to uh, when the user submits the form so this was it regarding the template driven forms now let's say if uh, there was a field related to hobbies of a user and then i had a button here that said add hobby and when the button was clicked new text fields for uh, a different hobby were to be added to this form right now with the template driven forms we cannot really do that we cannot really add dynamic uh, fields to a template driven form and that's where the reactive forms come into the picture so in the next section we are uh, going to talk about the reactive forms and how they can be used and implemented and we will be again creating this form from scratch using the
template driven uh, sorry using the reactive approach and then we will also add a hobby section in here wherein the user can additionally uh, add or delete some fields like for hobbies in the form itself so i'll see you guys in the next video